What is good? We're back. We're hitting another free agency uh, team here. We got Mixer. the we got the Denver Broncos, the Russell Wilson trade, and then just the you know the, the impact for Cortland and Judy, Cortland. and Tim Patrick, and KJ Hamler and Javante, and, and like, the quarterback and, and Russell. And we've we've been waiting for for so long for somebody to be like the Broncos. The boys were like, hey, we got to deal with. Mahomes this many times we're gonna get all these great pieces on offense but we're just never gonna get a quarterback (laughs) (laughs) so they finally get the quarterback and you know it's gotta be an elevation for pretty much just about anybody on the team although Javante is probably about as high as he can just about go if Melvin doesn't come back maybe you're talking about him as the locked in RB2 for for some people Um, if he does a little bit of a bummer Uh, but Let's uh, let's jump in. We got a new head coach. We got a new quarterback. Um, we don't really know how this is necessarily going to go, but I think a good place to start is the head coach quarterback combo, and then we'll kind of get into ranking where we think this might have moved Judy and uh, so, Cortland and Timmy P and the Forgotten Man and KJ Hamler, um, Albert O and maybe. Albert O KJ Hamler. So we got Nathaniel Hackett coming in. Obviously, they they were probably trying to lure Rodgers in there with his his old QB coach, um, which Rodgers and multiple other people have spoke extremely, just like we were talking about with Mike McDaniel and people speaking extremely high of him. People have spoken extremely high about Nathaniel Hackett and how the man that he is and how he makes everything really fun and he's really, really smart, but he's not just going in there just, you know, Forcing the issue, his his per- it, agenda, make, right? Making it be boring, making it. He's I think he's forty two, and Rogers was thirty seven or thirty eight. So like they're you know they're not that far off. He and he and Rogers just continuously singing his praises of of you know building him into a better quarterback, and and was super excited for him to get this job and this opportunity. He's been around before through the Buffalo Bills organization. He's been at Syracuse. He's been in the Jags in that Bills stretch there. I believe in 2014, he took that offense to the best completion percentage and least amount of turnovers that they had had in 10 year, 10 plus years, maybe 12 years coming in there. He took Blake Bortles to the AFC championship, had his best year set franchise records with him. Nice. He's a Doug Marone guy, followed him around. Obviously his dad, is, is the OG Hackett of the family. He's super West Coast and was with uh, Walsh and those guys throughout his come up. Uh, so a lot of West Coast elements in here. Big zone run concepts, uh, just like you saw with the Packers. Uh, spent the last three years with A-Rodge and LaFleur. Said he plans to bring a lot of what they were doing in Green Bay over to Denver. Just like we were talking about with uh, McDan- Mike McDaniel there. Like You're not just going to be like, hey, we're, <laughs> we're throwing all that in the trash. Yeah. Look at all this hot shit we were doing over here. But he did say he's putting in a – he said a big emphasis needs to be put on being adaptable, mm-hmm. and which I, I think is, is, is a huge – which you get a 65-year-old coach. Rigid. Which was what you just had, who's mm-hmm. a great defensive mind. Yep. But probably not uh, – you know, I've never met a grandfather who's changing his mind. <laughs> um, you know. Yeah. So, which is, no, never mind. Um, so, some more other things that I read and, and listened to. where he was going to go with that later, Jay. <laughs> um, him and up Ru- on Patreon. Him and Russ have been in constant contact, constant communication, attached at the hip. And you know that's the kind of guy Russell's going to be. He wants to come in here. He wants to win. So, they Leaving got like a, a brand new kitchen for Russ, right? right? New pots and pans, the ones that hang down the center of the island. Yes. Even the Nothing's opposite been used. type system right coach scenario he has to be he wouldn't have agreed to come yeah if it wasn't going to be uh, if he wasn't going to be allowed to freak i mean cook mm-hmm. right stadium let Russ did already catch freak. on fire upon <laughs> it's I, so hot in there i swear to god it did they catch were, on fire they were there burning was a, there was a fire the, the coach's box so maybe not the best thing Russell's, bacon powder russell got a new kitchen He's already burning shit. It's blowing up. Judging on what I've read about Hackett, I don't think he's going to come in and demand Russ play necessarily in the confines of his system. I think, but rather you're going to see collaboration here, building it together with a loose structure of what what Hackett is trying to achieve within a system. Much kind of like with Rodgers. You know, you don't... Russ is sort of built similarly to what Rodgers 
does. Sure. Like there's some ad libbing in there. It's a pretty big part of his game, part of his success. I don't think you want to try to eliminate that completely. And you're just not going to with Russell Wilson, especially because he's a little bit older than Rodgers mm-hmm. and you hadn't seen him had to make that adjustment yet. But he probably will if he wants to prolong his career for as long as he wants to, because he's habitually been one of the most sacked and hit quarterbacks going and and you know you were for a while we're on that rogers collarbone thing can't fuck with him mm, i got off can't, can't move around man. had to and and but now you don't see as much roger he he still uses his legs to buy some more time and we'll we'll run first down but catch a quick first right. down and get out so you know i think building it together kind of getting a better understanding learn and then russ can kind of say hey I'll play with someone in this West Coasty kind of system that you have here. Take some of these quicker, shorter throws to alleviate pressure off me, but I still need to be able to do what I do when I do it because when I do it, I do it well. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's let just, this man do what he does when he's doing it. That's that's what I'm saying. Because well, when he's doing like, it, he does it. I like the uh, A. Raj and Russell Wilson comparison, like especially like football IQ. Right. You know, I don't, and maybe probably and until people not liking either of them until the football leaves their hands. They're very, very, very similar. They have different right. throws. You know, a Rodge's throws are different. Uh, Russell's mastered the moonshot and a Rodge mastered the laser. Right. Um, but I think they play, they look a lot like the same type of quarterback when they're moving the confidence, right. The pocket awareness, the ability to, you know, know exactly what's, you know, the football IQ is off the charts. Both of those guys, completely different personalities, completely different, you know, ball velocities, but Russell gets it done too. Right. So back into the system talk, you got zone run concepts are going to be heavy outside zone, inside zones. That's what they did a lot of in in green Bay. He's going to continue to do that same thing over here um, in Denver, which, you know, they're very also from that Shanahan style. And then you have, you know, I kind of read some stuff where they say and hack it kind of, rebuilt his system around really emphasizing you know the wide receiver one being the guy that you design a lot of play around and it's like Devontae, well, yeah, no shit why not like who else you got and it's Devonte adams so like you're coming in seeing who's going to be that guy for them well it doesn't necessarily have to be that guy he's got so many more options here right. to spread across the field and you've seen him be successful with big bobby t big bobby T- rob tunyon mm-hmm. you know kind of broke out in there for him um, and you've seen Lazard kind of had some stretches here and there building some chemistry. So he can include other guys. And I think now you've just walked into a scenario for just about everybody involved where, holy shit, look at all this shit at our disposal here. Like, yeah. you know, and not to mention, you know, you probably have a better line than than Russell was dealing with there. You have Garrett Bowles, who has was a high round pick, who's starting to kind of come around. Dalton Reisner, Cushenberry, the center from LSU. Uh, they do have Glasgow, who was a Detroit Lion for a while. Um, but he's probably maybe a little bit more on his way out than his way in. They got Billy Turner, who was with the the Green Bay Packers last year. Hackett said he sings his praises, his versatility of the guy he is and where he can play all over the line and knows exactly what he's supposed to do. And then they have um, Quinn Miners, who was the guy out of Wisconsin Whitewater last year that played with his like always had the belly shirt on yeah um who's just he said the sky's the limit he loves what he sees from this guy and so that they, they've got a lot of good stuff on this offensive line that that russell probably hasn't quite had uh throughout his his career so i think you got you know this awesome thing that we've been waiting for is is sutton and judy dk metcalf and tyler lockett no probably not but they're not that far off like i mean yeah Cortland Sutton was a highly sought after college prospect for a long time until he was supposed to be slow. And then he really wasn't slow. Right. I have some angry um, comments down below because of then, that statement. And then, I mean, <laughs> you got to be out of your mind. You think DK Lockett are good or I'm, better. I'm not saying that he is DK Metcalf by any means, but I mean, he probably moves a little better than DK Metcalf does. And you're going to add three cone and, drill. And give him, give him, give that Sutton ability to be that, that dominant outside There's guy no question about it. Sutton is a more polished wide receiver than DK. Right. Metcalf. And then now you have Jerry Judy in there, who is probably more polished than Lockett coming out and has only two years in the leagues, had some injuries. We know he's a great route runner. He's number one in separation, which take that for what you will. Lockett, um, Ray, Lockett really came to life. He was a good prospect and like you, but he did not come in with the route running skills that Judy has. Right. Um, now, would Judy develop like Lockett did to be determined? But, but Judy's starting Judy starting from a higher peg than Lockett started. Right. Will he finish there? Who knows? But now, when you got now, you bring in Russell, an offensive minded coach, somebody like Judy, who may or may not be all in. 
because things he's been having Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. If I thought Judy was a lock for 9,500 catches last year when they signed Teddy, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody had their bumps and bruises on the Denver Broncos offense last year. You yeah, bring Judy in, only played 10 games, you missed, bring in missed Russ six with a high ankle sprain. And a whole new system. Now Judy's like, this is my chance because you know he's not going to be long for. He needs a contract anyway. Right. You better get on it. Well, I, I guess for me, it's like they're, they're really not that dissimilar to one another. You got a, a pretty much an alpha one outside kind of guy and DK and or Sutton. And then Lockett and Judy are this are kind of that same kind of mold of guys. Sure. Route runner can can do kind of whatever you need him to do. Going to get open. And then you add the ad living aspect on top of his game, which I've seen some people say Judy takes too long, too many steps in his game. Well, guess what? They're not going to matter anymore because. Russ, Russ is going to give you a couple extra seconds here. Um, Judy, all he needs is a good quick out. Right. And 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 Russ is going to find him because him and Lockett was on that. Where already they, were, saw, they were killing that quick out for a third down conversion. Already saw videos of him and him and Judy working together on a private field, getting down to business. Like, that's what – Russell's going to put in the work to be awesome. I don't yeah. like – I hate the way Russell appears in the media. It drives me insane. But he's a fucking awesome quarterback. Well um, said. Well said. And and he's going to do what it takes to get Cortland and, and and Judy up to speed as well as, you know, the Tim Patricks and who had, a, you know, a nice year last year. Um, and then they they still do have a big tight end. And and uh, Russell's always been a guy like, hey, if Jimmy Graham's there, we're going to target the shit out of Jimmy Graham because he's my best player. Yeah. If Tyler Lockett and Doug Baldwin are there, we're going to crush with those guys. If DK and Lockett are my guys, I'm going to crush with those guys. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, Wilson's he, a stud. Right, he's going to get the ball to whoever stud. his good fucking players are. Like, right, and he, and he must have liked those players or he wouldn't have dropped the no trade clause to come to Denver. He had to like what he saw with these up and coming stars, which in case to catch people up to speed, when you said that, it made me think like, let's catch people up to speed on Cortland Sutton in case you forgot. Cause this past year, you know, wasn't that great wide receiver, 44, 8.8 points per game, which was only 56th tours, ACL and MCL in 2020. So not much there, but take it back to 19. And he averaged 13.9 points per game. He was wide receiver 27, 125 targets, 72 receptions, 1,112 yards, six studies, 15.4 yards per catch. So it's, he's crushing the deep ball. That's good for ninth. Pretty decent at Yak, 361. That was good for 14th, 12th in yards per route run, dec- fourth in missed force tackles with 16. And then the deep ball. Okay, he had he had 23 deep targets, which was tied for 18th, 11 deep receptions tied for 10th and the sixth most deep yards. Now, listen to the quarterbacks he was playing. It was like I, I forget it exactly in 2019, but it might have been Case Keenum might have been the best quarterback that he played with. And then he's had Trevor Simeon, Brandon Allen, Joe Flacco, Drew Locke, Teddy Bridgewater. Sure. And now Russell Wilson, which Russell Wilson. You talked about that moon ball and all that deep. Mm, taking it back to 2020 because I did't, I didn't look a ton at 21 because I know Russell missed some time and it, it wasn't that great over there. But take it back to 2020 and, you know, he was. Eighth, MVP candidate. He was eighth in deep attempts, eighth in deep yards, first in touchdowns on deep balls, uh, had the second most scrambles. Which were, which were, I guess that doesn't, that's not a good stat for this argument here. That was undesigned runs by the quarterback, but was crushing deep balls and was super accurate with it as well. So, like, I think that jives well with, with Cortland Sutton. He can buy time, and Cortland was crushing the deepest yards and working with nothing. Mm-hmm. So, if, if Cortland can stay healthy, like, it, it should be pretty damn good for Cortland Sutton this year. Right. So, there's a lot of mouths to feed, and we're, you know, Hamler had a had an injury and he missed a lot of time, but he's lightning fast, uh, so he should he should kind of be back in the fold here. So they got a, they got a lot of options. Hamler's a he's a stud you don't know about. Mm-hmm. KJ Hamler's a stud. Yeah, I like I like he's Hamler. small second round pick. He's I small, believe. but he's yeah. stud. Right, just had had I think was it an Achilles or was it an ACL? I don't I think remember. It was an ACL. I think um, it was an ACL. But again, Tim Patrick was actually his ADP was a little higher than I thought it was. I thought he would be pretty free, but we shall see. Um, so again, a lot of mouths to feed and, and people are excited about, uh, Alberto, uh, they lost Noah fan in the trade, mm-hmm. um, which, you know, I'm not disinterested in Alberto. If you're going to give me the value on Alberto, I'm going to, any of these Broncos players, if they start to slip and there's value to be had, I'll take them. Well, Alberto just got the, he's the move tied in tweet right. and, or comment for, you know, 
all the from Blur. the owner from the owners' meetings, the coaches get together, and some right. somebody comes back and reports that Albert O's the move tight end. So now he's going to be this right. year's. People uh, already kind of liked him a little bit, so he's he's getting some momentum, and then they're going to like his name for the Saints last year. The the, uh, the tight end that everybody loved, Juwan Johnson. Uh, no, no, that no, um the dude that had the number one blocking grade. Oh, it, um, all of a sudden he was like the darling of dynasty yeah, fantasy I football. I can't think of his name. Off, right off the everybody uh, listening Troutman knows. Troutman oh, it was Troutman this Troutman that last year it's gonna be Albert O this Albert O that last year, this year coming up for, for sure yeah. after those which comments. is, is kind of why I brought up Jimmy Graham Jimmy Graham just was the best fucking player on their team so he targeted the piss out of him like, I, was, I'm glad you brought it back to Jimmy Graham because that was the trade that did away with the Seahawks offensive line it took uh, Alex uh, Mack. Yeah, no, he didn't. It wasn't Alex Mack. He traded. They traded the left tackle that wasn't quite happy with his contract to get. Jo- it, no, the center. They traded away the center to the Saints, and they and the Saints gave him Jimmy Graham. Sure enough, after that, Russ was like, "Yo, my offensive line sucks." Yeah. And then All they right. brought in Dwayne Brown. Tried to patch mm-hmm. that up a mm-hmm. couple years later. So let's mad at the Houston Texans. Kind of figure out where we have. Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton, the rest of those guys, negotiable where you like them or whatever, but they're not the main attractions here. But, but, but Tim Patrick, just, we could be known with him like huge value. Like I think he, whatever his ADP is, it's, it's, it's actually it's quite a bit round. higher than I thought it was going to be. 13th round. 160. OG. So that's third. That's 144 is 12 times 12. So early 14th okay. round. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Which that's probably going probably to go up. Was, yeah. yeah. But still. Yeah. Definitely going to go up from there. A uh, huge, huge best ball guy. Sure. Um, you know, but the, between the running backs, especially if Melvin comes back and, and the other two wide receivers, given those two guys as health, Patrick going to be a little aggravating week to week in your starting lineup potentially, and you know, unless he makes – Yeah, I mean, I don't want to start Tim unless I have to, but yeah. he's a great piece, and if either of these other two guys get hurt, no doubt. which they have – No doubt. Then Patrick's Tim been, Patrick's a plug-and-play guy, so – he's. He got his contract. Well, I think he's what, undrafted. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. He wor- He he earned it. Mm-hmm. He's a quality NFL player. Yep. Jerry right. Judy or Cortland Sutton? Or Jerry Judy or uh, Amari Cooper? I mean, Cooper? That, that's a good question, but Judy or Cooper? Judy, I mean, Cooper just got Deshaun? Yeah, Judy's like five, six years younger, though. That's those. But Cooper has a thousand yard seasons under his belt. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm definitely taking Judy ahead of Cortland because I, you know, either one of these guys. We talked about it on the Patreon show. Either one of those guys could be in tier two next year, yeah. bar none. Yeah, Cortland or Judy, and there's. I think there's no way that uh, Russell isn't gonna support two top end twenty four uh, wide receivers here, and if not. Even a little higher, I think Lockett's been locked in as a top twenty-four so why receiver you definitely for like three Judy or four over, years. Uh, just because he's so much younger, and it just Sutton. seems like like he could he he'd be the quickest to ascend to tier two just because of his age. I, yeah, I think age I, and people I think loved Sutton him. would be people the dominant. Yeah, I think or, I think Sutton's I think his potential dominance could sure be the one that vaults him up. I could I feel like a little safer with Cortland, but definitely the upside and and, and the value going up into. Judy could be a second round startup pick. Yeah, you know that's kind of where I'm. That's kind of so I, I get that. But Sutton's and Sutton's all right. So Mari older, Cooper so. or Sutton? Sutton. Mari. I think I. And once Amari does well, then I want to trade him. I know it's hard to sell peak Amari, and when if if Amari's out there putting up mad points with Amari's Deshaun, stud. it's gonna be tough to move him. But that's what you should probably do because then he's gonna get hurt and piss you probably. off. Probably take the chance on Sutton, but I I think that the the, the I think there's probably still going to be some value on Amari Cooper, and he'll probably end up on a on a startup draft team. Of mine agreed. Um, I'd like to take them both. Devonta Smith or Jerry Judy? <laughs> How can Judy. you not take Judy now? Go I really want to take Devonta. Gotta I like take, the player better. Got to take Juice Judy with Russell. I like the player Devonta better. If you I can have Devontae. two, if you could grab two wide receivers on your team and then go Cooper and Sutton. And that'd be your third and fourth wide receiver in a startup. I'd really like that. I like the player Devonta Smith better than Judy. Right. But I got to take Judy. the sitch, the mm-hmm. situation. Right. I get it. And then I'm taking Judy and Sutton over all those OG receivers: Keenan Evans, uh, Michael Thomas, Nuke. Taking taking both of those guys over all those dudes. Got to those right. other guys. They're too old. Um, how about a Rob? 
I mean, he's in that OG category, but just went to LA. Just got staff daddy. I mean, I'll still take both. Still got to take guys. both those guys. Yeah, right? just, just a guy. couple years younger. Yeah, I mean Hollywood. You, right now, yes. A Rob's name is in the dirt. It won't take but two weeks with Stafford for it to come out. But at preseason, before we actually see any games played, you can't give up the value. You got to take those other guys that are playing with Russell. Who did you just ask? Younger. Hollywood. Hollywood Brown. Judy. Judy and Cortland for me. But I mean, I, I think if if Lamar, I saw some stat the other day. I forget who it is. I apologize, but they were basically saying if Lamar would have stayed in, there's a real good chance that Hollywood finishes top twelve. You know wide receiver Hollywood was, was crushing before Lamar got hurt um, so that's a, that's a tough call I think there's a lot of value on Hollywood he'll probably end up on a lot of teams right for me right now uh, maybe just because it's the new shiny thing uh, and I, I trust Russell a little more than Lamar maybe I go to those guys how about uh, Pittman got Matty Ice or uh, Sutton or Judy I'm kind of put, keeping Sutton and Judy together for the most part I'm uh, putting them in a tier together I moved them up a tier or two together Pittman or Sutton and Judy? I think I'm taking both of those guys over Pittman. I like Pittman a lot. I want to take Pittman. I like Pittman a lot. Okay, well, that here we are at a tier. This is a tier break for us, and Pittman will be up in well, that I next just tier for that, a bunch of guys those we just guys talked over about. Cooper, and I took them over Devontae. So maybe they're right there with Pittman. What about Elijah Moore? Casey, I know you love Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore, Judy, or, or Sutton? It, I'm taking Moore. I I want to take Moore, but I, like three games into the season, Jerry Judy could be above Elijah Moore in a hurry and be like, damn, I feel fucking awesome about having Jerry Judy tied to Russell Wilson instead of Elijah Moore tied to Zach Wilson. <laughs> True. Absolutely. So I, that's a that's a close one for me. I think I would lean Judy, but Elijah. I, I just I love the, the, the my whole thing with Elijah Moore is is that they got him involved. They want to use him. They want to get him the ball. They want to they want to hammer him uh, with involvement in that offense. So mm -hmm. uh, you know I, I feel pretty good about Elijah Moore as far as you know Lafleur and Sala really Agreed. keying on him, getting him involved. So. I'm okay with that. It'd be, that's a that's a close one. He's up in that tier. Um, Deontay Johnson, Judy Sutton. That's oh. a good. That, that's that's the tier Judy and Sutton belong in because that's what you need to be if you're pulling your hair out. They're in the same tier. Yeah. Right. right? That's that's right. where they are. So I have them in it. Kind of have them right now in the tier below those guys because those guys that are in that tier are kind of a some yeah butts. Like Amari's a little bit of a year butt and Devontae's a little bit of a year butt. And I feel like Sutton and Judy haven't quite gotten emerged on the mountaintop of we think that we think all these we think I this think, offense for I the think Broncos Russell is gonna William, be, I think Russell Wilson coming over got rid of the yeah butt. Yeah, but I, right. So I guess what I was alluding to is we think that all these guys on this offense is Taylor May, we just need a quarterback plug and play. We're we're good to go. We think these guys are gonna all be awesome. We don't know. Like I mean, I'm pretty sure I, we kind of know that Cortland can be good. We've uh, we know and we Cortland think that Jerry Judy Cortland can be was good. tearing it up. Had couple straight years facts, ago. straight facts. But he, I'm just saying, like with bad quarterbacks, he was tearing yeah, it up. Terrible. This is this is my only. You know, we just we, and we it's straight facts that Judy can make yet, your shoes fall. But that's fall why off. there's value on him. Still. If you're if you're if if you're trying to defend Jerry Judy running around, yeah, he can I'm, make your shoes fall. I'm with off. you. I'm just trying to. Bring I don't up know the last for sure that he's going to check in. I feel like Cortland. I know for sure. I think the ball. I think Cortland. So I think Cortland's checking in, and I, I'm pretty sure that that um, yeah, Sutton, I mean, that uh, Judy's checking in, and I think it's going to be wheels up. Waddle and and Tyreek in that last video, we just have tons of drops. So I'm not worry about drops. I don't give a shit about drops. Yeah, I give a fuck less about drops. Judy Obviously, you want Judy to catch the ball. You, you want everybody to catch the ball, right. but I mean, uh, Debo had a ton of drops. Nobody I think. Cares. Uh, Deontay can't catch the ball, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's him in his hands enough. He catches most of them. Yeah, I think uh, I, I wheels up for the Broncos receivers. I'm pretty, yeah. I, I don't Agreed. think that's a hot and take. And I did say all he needs to do is catch the ball and it'll be good. But, so I wasn't <laughs> yeah. like yeah, saying yeah, yeah. he's bad because he doesn't catch the ball. <laughs> Got to catch it. Got to catch it. Got to stay your, on the field too. Your job so, description is wide football catcher. Receiver. That's what you do. You receive the ball. You have to all catch right. it. We good? I think so. I think I think we got, you know, we kind of established where we like them right now. This is obviously things are going to change. We're going to keep things moving around. Judy, all of a sudden, I think, could quickly be up two more tiers. 
So. Yeah, I mean, he's got he, he's the guy you should probably take because it's, the, it's but, a bigger swing. Like you said. If you're trading for someone to make a, sh- a ship push or something like that, I feel safer with Cortland and maybe not having to give up as much. I like. But the, in a startup, the higher swing is definitely junior. like the Cortland maybe projecting as a little bit more of the alpha and, and Sutton or and, uh, Russell being able to dominate targets over his way and crush the deep ball. Yeah, I mean, especially as good as Russell is, doesn't take, but, you know, five catches for 120 yards and two touchdowns. I'm just so glad he's the fuck out of the AFC West because I was, or the NFC West, because I was just so sick of like, you're beating the hell out of them all game. And then Russell in fourth quarter, Russell, just I one hate. of those stupid fucking Pat. He just ekes out over here and fucking throws it downfield on a, on a dime to mm-hmm. whomever. And it's a touchdown. And all of a sudden it's a three point game and you're kicking their ass all game long. Ugh. Love it. 